Aaron Hughes, first of all, um, I guess hugely disappointing today. Yeah, obviously, you know, we're, we're never we're never too happy if, um, when we've come off the pitch with a defeat. But I think, um, you know, I think we've just got to, you know, really look at look at the things we do well and try and keep our confidence high. Because I think if we if we sort of start getting down on ourselves or um, you know beating ourselves up too much, um, it could be a long season. I think we should, we, we need to be to be aware and, and, and have a look at the, the things where we've maybe gone wrong as well and where we can improve. But um, you know, one thing we've got to do is stick together and, and, and you know, keep building on the good things, and I think that'll help. Where can the Albion improve? Were they poor defensive goals today, Aaron, to give away? Um, the second one's, you know, the second one's a it's a lucky goal to deflection. It's it's one of those where you know we, we could do a bit of luck like that. Um, I think you know I'm sure we'll have a look at it next week, and I'll probably be able to answer answer some questions better then when, when we've had a look at it. I think sometimes it's you know when you come off the pitch and sort of the perspective of how things went you know when you've been on the pitch and, and how it actually happened when, when you get a chance to look at TV sometimes it can be slightly different so I think I think we can answer some some questions probably better next week when we've had a proper look at it um, you know and we'll go from there the managers brought in Darren Ben what effect did that have a on the squad before the match and B out on the pitch well Bendy will give you goals you know we've seen that today he's, he's off to you know an off to a good start already and he, he had a few chances too he's unlucky maybe he could add a couple more um, you know, so he's a threat. So he, he gives you that threat, you know, in behind, um, you know, that sharpness. And I think if you look at his career, you know, overall he's always scored goals. So I think that's that's one of the biggest reasons why he was brought in here. You know, to try and try and help, uh, you know, get some goals. One of the frustrations for the manager today was that w w with the set plays, it didn't seem to work out. The manager seemed to have trouble getting, you know, getting the message over to the players. Is that a communication problem? What's the problems of those free kicks and set plays? Uh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, it's something we've just got to, you know. We work a lot on set pieces actually through the week, um, you know, and every, everyone knows the rule. And I think it's a case of, of um, you know, just having our own personal responsibility to sort it out a little bit better. Maybe, you know, I, th I don't think it can be can be blamed on a communication thing from from the sideline. Really, we, we know our jobs and we know what we've got to do. And I think it's it, we just have to execute it better once once we're on the pitch. Because Since you can say that because the manager was saying, you know, I take responsibility, but Adam Berger, I summarised, was saying oh, it's the players' responsibility. Mm -hmm. The players are on the pitch; they've got to enforce the plan that's put in place. Yeah, I think I think we have to shoulder a little bit of that responsibility for sure. As I said, like once once we step across the white line, it's it's our it's up to us to, as I said, to execute it properly. And, um, you know, we, we need to maybe improve a little bit on that. What's the feeling in the dressing room, Aaron? I mean, you know, you've been around this game a long time, but the Albion in the bottom three tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's never good reading, I and mean, you know, no one's I can't say anyone's happy with that for sure. But it's something that, uh, as much as there's no getting away from it, there's something we, we you know we, we've just got to get on with it. It's going to be you know it's going to be a, a hard Christmas for sure. Um, just where we are, it's going to it's going to be a scrap. Um, but we just got to knuckle down and, and get on with it. And as I say, look at look at the areas where we can improve. Um, and, and try and improve on them, um, but at the same time, we, we've got to try and keep our confidence high. And, and the things that we do well, the things that we we know that works for us, just got to keep going with those. And, and, and hope, hopefully, then you know things will start to turn for us. The help being led today, you learned knowledge last week. Is, it, is there an issue maybe about concentration when the side goes in front? Is it get that you suddenly sort of almost forget how to win games? I wouldn't say we forget how to win games. I think it's it's just you know if that is a case, if that is a, is a problem, which I'm sure we'll, we'll have a look at. I think it's just being aware of it and making sure you know in the future we take necessary steps or make sure we, we are that extra little bit concentrated, you know, if it happens, and then hopefully uh, hopefully then it won't be a problem. You said about a slice of luck. You know, the fixture list means you get, you go to the league leaders next week, go to Derby. Yeah. It doesn't get much tougher than that. No, that'll be a tough game, um, but it's a game where. Yeah, it, it's a great game to go and you know they're they're good football inside and um, you know that that's what we try to be. We try to be a football inside, so it's it's a great game to go and get a result because you know to get something there would would all of a sudden turn things around so much. Um, and that's why you know as I said, we've got a. It's very easy at the minute to to get concentrated and to focus on the negatives. I think we've we've got to keep looking at, at the good things that we do, and and really reinforcing and emphasising those. And then yeah brushing up on, on, on the old thing where we can, we can do better but it's a it's a it's a great a great test for us and a great opportunity and as I say we, we go there maybe in a way with nothing to lose. Final question 28,000 here at the Amex 3,000 came down from London they gave you and David Stockton in particular you know a terrific you know mm -hmm. terrific, terrific ovation what was that like? Yeah it's fantastic I mean I have nothing but good memories from up there um, my time there was one of the you know the, the the period I had there was was one of the best periods in my career um, you know and it's uh, 
obviously I left you know quite quite suddenly last year and never really had a had a chance to say cheerio myself. So it was nice. That, you know that's nice today. It's it's always nice to sort of be appreciated and, and um, you know for for the Fulham fans to you know have done that. You know it's it's very good, very, very nice. One. Sorry, one final question. I was thinking, do, do, is the onus now on the senior players you know, like yourself to, to really rally around and you know support the manager and you know come on fellas, we can do this. I think I think everyone has to take responsibility. Not just the senior lads. You know maybe. Um, that experience can help in, in certain situations for sure. Um, but we're a team, and, and we all we all have our roles in the team, and we all you know whether that's you know um, not on the pitch, giving a little bit of advice here and there, whatever it is, we we, we can all play a part. And each and every individual is just as important as the next to the team. So um, yeah, as an experienced player, obviously um, can help out in, in certain ways for for sure. But I think it's it's up to all of us just to, to make sure we you know we're doing the right things and and looking after ourselves not just on the pitch but off the pitch and giving ourselves every chance to you know go out on the pitch and get a result and as I say try and try and turn this around and, and get our season going.